Man, I love downtown San Antonio. I'll tell you what, these are my people down here. My fans, dude, they're everywhere. What can I say? Uh, so we're at the Manger Hotel tonight. I'm telling you what, dude, I'm so excited because tonight is the night. I'm telling oh, you, yeah. we are seeing a ghost tonight. It's going to happen. The Manger Hotel, man, I'm uh, telling you. This place is nothing but stories. Oh, my God, Mike. You don't even know, dude. You've never Where's even been here before. Where's the evidence? Wait. We're going to find it tonight. Hey, I mean. Where the hell is Bobby? My God, what did this horse eat? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. All right, this is Ernesto Malacar. Now, we're here at one of the most haunted places in San Antonio. Actually, the, the most haunted. The most the haunted. Most okay, so give me the stats about the place. How old is it? 151 years old. We have no less than 43 ghosts and apparitions that have taken place in this hotel. And how many have you seen? I have seen about six myself. Really? Oh, yes. How many are we going to see tonight? Well, if we look hard enough, however the secret to it is this. Let's not look. Let's let them find us. He's good. I thought, what about this money-back ghost guarantee? <laughs> Well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> the entire hotel is haunted, but tonight we'll focus on three places where most things are seen, starting with Sally White. And Sally White, a maid, a very attractive woman, walked the halls of this very hotel. Sally White was married to a very jealous man by the name of Henry Wheeler. He was a hothead who constantly threatened to kill her. One night, after a horrible argument at the hotel, Sally returned home against the advice of police. When she opened the door, Henry had a gun. She tried to run, but he shot her three times in the stomach. It took her three days to die. The hotel had to feel sorry for this woman. She had no one to speak for her. So the hotel performed an act of kindness and buried her at hotel expense. $32 to get her buried. People have seen Sally all over the hotel. She's normally seen carrying towels in this manner. She walks in her old faded uniform from place to place and never stops to talk to anyone. This is the world famous Menger Bar, also known as the Roosevelt Bar. In 1898, Theodore Roosevelt recruited some of his rough riders in this very bar. And there's a little story that goes along with that. Over toward the front desk area, there was a bell that we used to call a bellman. We'd ring the bell and the front bellman would come to assign his duties. When I got here in 1977, I, that bell was going like jingle bells, so I asked the bell captain, I said, what's making that bell ring so much? He said, well, that's Teddy calling his Rough Riders. We eventually disconnected the bell, and somebody would always reconnect the bell, and the bell continued to ring. Finally, in later years, we took it out, and Teddy does not call his troops anymore. But he still musters in the famous old bar. Now, you've heard of the King Ranch, this is the King's Suite. Mr. Malakara, this is definitely a point of interest here tonight. Who is Captain Richard King? Captain Richard King, the founder of the King Ranch, lived in a hotel and also he died here. He was truly an amazing fellow as he went into Mexico and gathered a group of families and brought them back, founded his ranch in Kingsville and put them all to work there. Also, his body was held in state in this very room. And it's probably still here. He haunts He's the... still around, yes, he still comes around. Sometimes when you're in the room, you get a funny feeling that Captain King is looking at you. We also have a uh, first-time ghost hunter with us tonight. We've got a newbie. It's always great to have newbies here with us. Dr. Simpton from the Smile Center. What are you expecting tonight? I have no idea. No idea? You ready for no this? No idea. Yep. Okay. Well, I this am. is part of the night where we strip down naked, so... I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> We begin our investigation in the King Suite, since Captain King certainly isn't shy about showing himself. Captain Richard King, are you in this room? There's a little thing on the table over there with some lights on it. It's putting out energy that you can use to communicate with us. We're not having much luck, so we decide to employ a new tactic. What did you ask? If you can come in the room so we can speak with him. 
Captain King is with us. Our team moves to set up cameras in the Menger Bar to monitor remotely. All right, it is 4.08 a.m. We are still here at the Menger. Well, most of us are. There's gel, beefcake. Yeah, and that's Bobby asleep. Shocker. I still haven't seen my ghost yet tonight, but we're going to make it happen. Sally, do you think that you could show yourself to us tonight? We would absolutely love to see you, but there's also a fan. If you could make that fan stop. Jell's got a uh, recorder. You can talk right into that and we can hear you later. We're not going to be able to hear you now. It's really cold right here. Dude, I'm not even kidding. I was just in the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so it is now 7.44 in the morning. I'm awake. Jell is still awake. We are, we've just finished investigating, actually. Bobby, well, you can see it for yourself. Yeah. So anyway, pretty crazy night. Um, we definitely saw some stuff, heard some stuff. And the lights turning on, saw some sparks. Right. But we won't know, really, what we have until we Analyze the evidence. check the evidence, so... Guess we'll wait and see. After going over hours of evidence from the Menger, we are surprised to find very little. After reviewing hours of video from our cameras in the bar, we discover some drunks walking by in the ice machine. But in our pictures, well, see for yourself. 